Hi guys and welcome to Isle of Indies. Today we're counting down the top 10 indie games to check out in the Steam Game Festival, which is running from the 3rd to the 9th of February. All these games are due out sometime in 2021. If you go over to Steam, you'll find over 500 demos, developer charts, live streams and much, much more. In at 10 we have a creepy survival horror inspired by Victorian Gothic novels and short stories such as those by the great Edgar Allan Poe. This is Lamentum where you play as Victor, a young aristocrat on a deadly journey to cure a disease that afflicts your poor old wife Alyssa. It's inspired by classic horror games such as Resident Evil and Silent Hill but it has a 2D top down pixel <laughs> aesthetic. It really does look gorgeous and it's definitely one to add to your wish list for 2021. At nine, we have a game that's been on our radar for quite a while at I Love Indies, and the release date is getting ever nearer. Tunchi is a 2D side scrolling beat em up with roguelike elements. You play as Rummy and her friends as they try to save the jungle from the powerful Tunchi. It's due out spring 2021 and features local multiplayer. It looks stunning, and it's definitely one not to miss. Up next we have Super Mombo Quest, an arcade platformer with Metroidvania elements. Collect gems and bounce on enemies to keep your combo bar going. It's got an adorable protagonist catchy music and a lovely 16-bit aesthetic. This is one to watch and it's hopefully coming out in Spring 2021. One of the best things about the Steam Game Festival is the chance to discover new games you've not come across and this is one of those for me. This is Beacon Pines. It's described as Winnie the Pooh meets Twin Peaks by the developers. It's a creepy adventure game within a magical storybook where you play as Luca, a goat in an anthropomorphic world. It all looks rather gorgeous and for me it's a little bit reminiscent of Night in the Woods so if you like that game you're going to love this. Maybe even it reminds me of a surreal version of the Sylvanian families or the Calico Critters if you're in the USA. Either way it looks superb and it's definitely one now on my radar. Roguelites are probably my favourite genre and here's another great roguelite on the horizon. This is Orbital Bullet, it's a 360 action roguelite. It's due out sometime in the spring. Action takes place in a circular pattern, allowing you to shoot around the world as you can see on screen. Ascend the levels, upgrade your character through the dynamic skill tree. Fans of Enter the Gungeon and other roguelites, you're going to want to check this one out. Now for something completely different, we've got Chicory, A Colourful Tale. This game featured in the last Steam Festival. The new demo though shows off much more of the game and its mechanics. You play as a dog with a paintbrush in a colourless world. You use the painting powers of the brush to explore, solve puzzles and make friends. It's a gorgeous adventure and something totally different. If you like paint by numbers, this is one for you and it's currently scheduled for release sometime this year in August.
At four, we have a game that I've been looking forward to for some time, and now having played the demo, I just can't wait for the release. We've got Lunark here. If you're a fan of Flashback or Another World or Prince of Persia, you're going to love this one. You run, jump, hang, roll, shoot. It's all here, as you remember from those games. Look out for this one a little bit later in the year. So into the top three of games to look out for in the Steam Game Festival. We've got another gorgeous pixel art indie to look out for here. It's called No Place for Bravery. You play as Thorin in search of his lost daughter. The demo showcases the beautiful top-down 2D graphics alongside a very satisfying Sekiro-esque combat system. It's going to be out like all of these indies sometime this year and it's one that I can't wait for. At number two, we have one of the most beautiful Indies to surface in some time. Minute of Islands really does look like a cartoon. It's a puzzle platformer featuring Mo, an unusual heroine on a fateful quest to repair a world on the brink of collapse. It all sounds very exciting. And the best news is that the developers have given us a release date for this one of March the 18th, so we don't have to wait too long until we can get our hands on this future Indie gem. Do not worry. I will fix your mess, and I will save our homes. Moore reassures herself. Perhaps the title getting the most hype in this list, and maybe even the Steam Game Festival, is Narito Boy, and deservedly so. It's a platforming adventure with Metroidvania elements, and it is drop dead gorgeous. You play as the titular character trapped in a digital kingdom. You unleash the power of the Techno Sword. How cool does that sound? You have to dance and you have to save the world. The demo really needs to be checked out. Combat is satisfying, character animations are fluid and look so awesome. The music is just sublime. It's an 80s child's dream, this. All of this makes Narito Boy I Love Indies number one game to play. Look out for it at the Steam Fest, but also it's getting published very, very soon by Team 17. So there you have it, 10 great games to check out on Steam in the Steam Games Festival, which runs until the 9th of February. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Isle of Indies channel so that you can keep up to date with all the latest news, views, reviews, and everything else related to indie games. Until next time, guys, keep loving indies. Bye now.